G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at um, a friend of mine's tree. It's a, I think it's an Atlantic cedar. I thought it was a Deodara Himalayan, but it's um, quite small, small um, needles or small buds on it. Um, but the reason I want to do a video on this guy is because it's going to be a real contrast in what you can do with such a tall piece of material. Now, most, a lot of people could have said, could have said, ah, oh, it's so tall, just cut it off, Oof. and you create a little informal upright. I think that's a waste of a tree, a waste of a really good tree with lots of potential. What we want to try and do is bend this tree, bend this tree excessively, and show you how much you can bend a tree um, and recreate a much, and get a much better result. I want to ultimately get a semi-cascade or a full cascade on this tree. I know you're probably thinking that's crazy, but this tree is young enough to do that to do that work and it will be much more interesting, much more um, uh, dynamic, much more creative, uh, you, you name it. But having, I just want people to actually think about not going with the most basic and simple option of, hey, just cut it off and grow a new leader and there you go, there's your informal upright. It's such a waste. This tree as a semi-cascade, a cascade will be absolutely mind-blowing. First things first, what I, what I want to have a quick look at, I had a look at the base, the base is nice, it's got a nice, and the bari, which is probably too far to show you um, but which way am I going to bend the tree which way am I going to create the cascade I was trying to figure out which way is the best way to go now I usually let the tree tell me which way to go now there's this there's this kink in here you, I'll zoom into it when when I when I when I'll show you there's a kink in here that goes this way but then the, the tree goes that way now for me if I was to try and bend the tree this way I'm going to go against the trunk up here and I could crack it but with this natural curve this way and then falling that way, the tree, it's much easier to bend the tree that way. And then we just adjust the whole angle of the tree slightly this way to create a much more, um, much more interesting cascade and safer to do so. So I hope that makes sense. Follow the natural um, angling of the tree, which way it tells you to bend it. Don't go against that because you're more likely to crack it. Now the other thing I'm gonna do, which is probably controversial, <laughs> is I don't use raffia. Now, some people want to, some people, a lot of people want to use a raffia, raffia the whole tree and bend it. Um, I'm going to use heavy gauge aluminium wire, multiple coils around it and keep it quite close. That acts as a natural spring for the tree and will protect it from splitting, protect it from, you know, cracking and so on. So it's just a technique that I've learned, especially off um, Han or Bullock, if everyone knows who he is in Melbourne, they do. Um, who you know who have shown uh, me how to bend large tr large trunks without using raffia, um, and I'm going to use, and I've used that technique successfully. So hopefully we can use that same thing today. So multiple probably multiple gauges of six or seven depends what we've got here, um, aluminium, um, and we'll get through it. But that's the that's the process. Lots of wiring. Um, we'll wire the whole trunk first all the way up. Then we'll wire. I'd like to put some wire then on the main branch especially down low, because once I, I'm going to have to use guy wires to pull the tree down, bend it, tighten it, use clamps and everything to try and bend this tree down. And once you do that, you're not going to be able to wire any of these branches on the side because all the guy wires are in the way. So lots of wiring to start off with, and that's what I'm going to do now. And we'll cut back and have a look what it looks like then. After I've laid three rows of six mil aluminium wire, I give the tree flexibility test like to just see how much it will bend and if there's any cracking when I do this. So you can see it's pretty flexible and I keep bending away, just massaging the trunk for the work that I'm going to do. You can see quickly it can easily bendable now and there's no splitting on the trunk, uh, which is really important. So the flexibility is really key here. There's the three, the three rows of aluminium wire support the trunk and support not having any cracks. So now I can start to think about guy wiring and where I want to put the guy wire. So I find a point on the pot where I poke a hole through and where I'm roughly going to put a guy wire that ties down the trunk um, to the pot. This enables me to safely bend the trunk down, downwards, um, and guy wire. So guy wire is just a piece of, I use copper to just tie it to the pot and tie it around the wire that I've wired on the trunk so I don't damage the actual trunk. And here's Robert giving me a hand with that. 
Now it's pretty much, I use my gym pliers and we just slowly bend, bend, bend. I know I've sped this up, but just to show you, that probably took an hour to do all that work. Um, slowly bending the trunk down, down until we're happy to what level it's at. So you can see us working away, checking all the time, checking for cracks, checking the angle that we've got the uh, trunk to. Here I am just adjusting some branches and moving around pretty fast, but that process probably took, you know, between half an hour to an hour. And I've just started to wire some of the apex now just to get a head start on the next bends. So we're at a stage where we've been able to bend the cascade branch quite a fit, fair way. Got a couple of guy wires helping me pull that down. Now I'm doing the work gradually, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time, but whilst I do that, I've started to wire up all the apex area. Now you can kind of see the nice apex area starting to come to, come, come to light. Um, all it was is very long branches that I've contorted and wired in and snaked on themselves. They'll eventually fill out and you'll be able to cl um, clean up the, the, the branches that are in, inside of curves, get rid of those, leave the ones on the outside and things like that. But for now it's compacted, looking really good, nice small buds. We'll do a clean out later um, and we've got to keep wiring the tree. We haven't, we haven't wired the, the full cascade yet or semi-cascade part. But good to see how it's coming together. I am going to try and keep going now, bending this a bit more, uh, further down, further down. I want to get a bit, bit further. And then at the moment, this cascade is quite straight. So I'm going to actually bend it backwards and then bring it forwards. That's one, just one bend backwards. Um, we probably got to wire it into the pot as well and then bend it forwards just, just, um, just to give it some interest as well, a bit of curvature. So now Rob and I just finish off wiring the rest of the tree. Pretty much straight wiring job. Um, I concentrate on the apex. Rob gave started to do the cascade branching. We want to wire as much as we can because it gives us options. If we didn't like a branch, we would cut it off. But wiring everything and seeing where it ends up. Okay, everyone. So after this good three hours of uh, wiring, bending, twisting, this is where we're up to. So I don't want to spin it around because it's going to knock into everything. But you can see the apex of the tree, um, the cascading branch. It went to a more full cascade rather than... So I was hoping to finish around in there somewhere, but this is a bit further down. It looks really good. Um, the, base is, the base is beautiful. Branch is really good. Everything's been compacted, so there would have been branches out to about here. And by snaking them back, we've really compacted it nicely. Um, the cascade branch, I'll do a, do a little spin. So you can see almost side on there. See how it comes down, pads all along, and then comes a little bit more towards the front coming forward. So that's what I, I like to see ideally, the tree coming forward um, into that position. Probably the hardest thing, and I told the owner Rob here, that is trying to find a pot for this tree. Um, hard to find cascading, semi-cascade pots in Melbourne, but um, he's got a task there to try and find it. Should be all right. The aftercare of this tree really is to leave it alone, let it um, settle, let it get it, get, let it set in, set out, settle in its um, spot, let the branches settle. We've bent them quite um, severely, especially this big bend at the top, but you couldn't even tell. Like it looks like a natural tree, but hopefully you can see what from pretty much we've gone what's that 170 degrees at least i reckon from straight up to about 170 degrees bend into this tree to get it cascading so please don't go and chop the tops of trees when you can create something like this um i see it too often especially for beginners and that's one of the lessons of this tree to the beginners again um, always look at so many options of your trees to create an interesting tree before, if you had a tall tree and you just cut it, it would be just the same cookie cutter style that everyone's got. Same, same. This took a really tall, lovely cedar and just used the whole entire tree. I mean, I hardly took anything off. There was one big branch maybe down here. It was another cascade branch. It was as thick as the main branch. That's pretty much the only branch I cut off. Um, I did pluck some stuff, but that's normal. Plucking things that are growing down on branches, you pluck them off and that's about it. There's actually needles around the place but that's about it um hardly anything came off it treat it treat it now put it in a nice spot in the, in the garden water it sunshine just as normal and let it recover um, and then the next steps in this tree is to continually improve the branching you know the branches will start to get bigger and thicker you've got to cut them back 
and wiring mount. But at least we've set the structure. You see lots of guy wires in here. Um, this tree shouldn't take more than, I reckon, maximum a year to settle in its new shape, and then the wire can come off. Always with bonds, I need to rewire. So there you go. Anyway, guys, hope that's a good lesson to you all. Um, don't cut back tall single trees when you can make beautiful cascades out of them. See you guys.